Good morning and welcome back to City Line. With me, I have two individuals who are here to talk about the Tacoma Urban League, what's happening right now with the Urban, Urban League, and their MIP Summer Adventure Camp. So please join me in welcoming a very familiar and beautiful face, Miss Tawana Nobles. You are the president and CEO of Tacoma Urban League. Welcome back. Thank you. I can't have you on this couch enough because you are doing so much that warrants uh, our attention. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, you are doing a bang up job, so congratulations, you. my dear. You. you brought with you Mr. John Levi. Hello there, my friend. Hello. You are the program manager of that with the Tacoma Urban League and especially with the MIT Mentor Program. Welcome, it's good to see you. Thank you, glad uh, Let's talk about these socks you have on here. Come on, put the foot up. <laughs> Oh. Let's see how, okay, hold them still. Let's see if we can get a sock. Can, oh, oh, no, other foot. Do the other foot, John. Other one? Yeah. There it is. These rock. Who gave these to you? Uh, maybe my wife. Yeah, we got to give props to the wife always because the credit. it's always the wife. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Everything Thanks, fantastic Jamie. from yes, the wife. So, <laughs> as I said in the green room, Tacoma is still the number one place, we always knew this, for people to move to right now in the United States uh, for a plethora of reasons. So it begs the question, what is the Tacoma Urban League? What does it do? Yeah, well, Tacoma Urban League is an organization that definitely makes Tacoma proud. Yep. Um, but our mission is to serve the African-American community, underrepresented communities, um, rural residents here in Tacoma, um, to make sure that they are able to take full advantage of all the opportunities that exist in the wonderful city that we live in. Um, and I am very excited to announce that um, the organization is also making the city proud. We just won a national award as the most improved affiliate. So I went to Indianapolis at a National Urban League Conference to receive that award, and we'll be doing a little press about it soon. Um, but we're doing great work. We have some amazing programs and amazing staff. Um, but we, we fight for um, social justice and civil rights issues. We have so many volunteers who serve in auxiliary services, membership. Um, we're, we're here to make sure that youth are engaged. We have financial coaching, career coaching. We launched our Black Empowerment Center earlier mm -hmm. this year in March. So incredible things are happening at Tacoma Urban League and there's still so much more work to do. Incredible things are happening. It's like a revitalization has happened, like yeah. this wind blew in. Um, your leadership, your team, it's every time I'm on any kind of media, Tacoma Urban League pops up doing good things. So congratulations. Thank you. Mr. John, let's talk about our viewers. It's summertime, it's August 1st, it's still summer. So what is the MIP Summer Adventure Camp? Yes, it is eight days, two weeks um, of fun. We are going to be traveling to um, different places and enjoying our time. We're going to be going to the Seattle Aquarium. We're going to go to Defy Tacoma uh, up on Mildred. We're going to do an escape room. We're going to go visit C-17s out at uh, McCord Air oh, Force Base. <laughs> My dad used to fly those. Oh, oh, nice. Yep. We're going to go to Wild Waves. Um, and then we have a couple of days where we're not going to do any field trips. We're going to walk to the park. We're really going to build relationships um, so that the young men have an opportunity to build relationships with themselves and so that we as mentors get an opportunity to really deposit some, some very meaningful things in there. Um, but it's, it's going to be a great time, you know. So I want to get some nuts and bolts yeah. here. So who is it for yep. in terms of, of, you mentioned men, so mm -hmm. um, who is it for and what ages and yep. when does it start, John? Absolutely. So August 5th through the 8th is the first week and then the second week is August 12th through the 15th. It's 9, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Excellent. Yep. It is for uh, incoming 5th graders to incoming ninth graders. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's really the, the nuts and bolts of that. Um, active wear is what they're gonna wanna be putting on because we're gonna be moving and grooving. Um, competition is gonna be built into a lot of our activities because, you know, the young men, they, they, wanna, they wanna compete. You know, we wanna win, we wanna um, challenge ourselves. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the nuts and bolts. I love this. Okay, so, so question for both of you what do we hope our participants will obtain through this camp and John let's you go first on yeah it. sure um, so social and, and emotional intelligence and awareness is going to be um, one area where we're focused on um, with a lot of data and research um, utilizing some trauma-informed care we really want to create an environment where um, 
youth can you know, expand their, their social awareness, expand how they interact with each other and, and being aware of people's feelings, people's emotions and, and knowing how to react and, and knowing what to do and what not to do. Um, so that's gonna be one thing that they're gonna be learning. Um, also some, some leadership development. Yes. Um, you know, leadership is always a, a big topic, um, whether you're a kid or an, you're an adult. So well, we're gonna be employing some leadership development opportunities through activities and games and hoping that they gain some of those skills. Um, also just some very simple skills, you know, how do you shake a hand? You know, how do you, how do you enter into a conversation? How do you, how do you get out of a conversation? Um, you know, what is your personal brand? What do you represent? Who are you? You know, what, what, what are you uh, illuminating out to the world? What do you want people to perceive you as and make sure that's coming across properly? So all that's going to be wrapped up in activities and field trips and finding a way to kind of weave those threads together. I want to go to this camp. Right? Me too. Okay, so, so you, from a president CEO perspective, yeah. What is it you want to see rise up out of this camp? Yeah, well, first I'm excited for the brotherhood that will come out of yes. this camp. All the bonding with these young men and their mentors who are incredible leaders in our community, but also this next generation of urban leaguers. Because yes. once you're an urban leaguer, you're always an urban leaguer. So I'm just excited for this next generation to be able to grow up and say, remember when we did that MIP yeah. summer camp? I got to Tacoma hang out urban with, League? for instance, Harold Moss. Right? Or something like Those that. Those are the future Harold Mosses and Lao Quasiums like this. Yes. Those are the future leaders in our community. So this kind of um, generational hop and inclusion of the next generation just makes me so proud as the leader of the Urban League. Oh my God, it makes me so proud. I just had Willie Stewart on the couch a month ago and I just thought to myself, to be so fortunate to be mentored by Willie Stewart, wow. to have worked alongside of him or even been taught by him, that is something that will launch you for the rest of your life into greatness. Absolutely. Speaking of Willie Stewart, he was very intricately involved in our schools as MIP is. So how does the school year change differently from the summer program, Tawana? Yeah, well, our summer program is, um kind of two weeks, eight days, and during the school year, it's really incredible. We start programming typically around October in um, schools that are in Tacoma Public Schools. We go until about June, the end of the school year, and we're servicing four schools. So Lister Elementary, First Creek Middle School, Grade Middle School, Stewart Middle School, and we have weekly programming at all of those schools. And sometimes the groups will meet twice a week. Um, but it is far different. So these young men get to spend the entire school year doing what we try to oh. jam pack in two weeks in the summer. Wow, it's wow. Incredible. Okay, so, so for you, when you're looking at that school program, yeah. um, does it change what you teach because it's more of a long time or do you see different results? It doesn't necessarily change what we teach. I think it changed the uh, level of depth that we can get yes. to. So, you know, we really kind of have a cohort um, ideology of how we form these groups so you know we really walk through you know the nine months of school together um, so it's it's a slow build up yeah. you know we take the first month or two to just build relationship just to create the safe space just for them them to know and for us to know hey we're, we're for real about why we're here and then we gradually get into lessons curriculum and things right. of that nature um, but the school year it's a it's a powerful thing you know we hear feedback from teachers principals um, just about one, just our consistency and our presence. Mm -hmm. You know, part of life is just showing up and just Thank being you. there. Thank you. You know, and so we try to exhibit that, just being consistent, being there, and then hope that whatever seeds we plant and get planted into us, we'll see some fruit from it later. I, I'm sitting here going, I can imagine what a child must feel like to be in the summer program and then to realize that same person is going to be in my school. Absolutely. Jumping up and down for joy and safety. Oh my gosh, I, yes. I, the person I got to teach me how to shake someone's hand is now someone I get to see after school every Absolutely. day. Win-win bonus. <laughs> and okay. also, real quick, one thing that's different with our school year program is we're embedded into the school. Exactly. So it's not after school. We actually have the schools carve out time for us during the day. You guys are amazing. Yeah. You have thought of everything. So last minute and a half here. Um, let's talk about uh, what we can expect in the next mm -hmm. 90 days from the Urban League and then any thank yous. Yeah, um, so we have another Career Empowerment Academy coming up in September, mm -hmm. and that's some financial coaching and career coaching. Folks can always come into the Urban League for any need that they have, and if it's not something we do, we'll refer them to a partner. We have our second gala coming up. I mean, the Urban League has had galas 
over the years, but yes. we brought back we brought back the gala last year um, for our 50th anniversary, and so now we're calling it our empowerment dinner. Mm -hmm. So October 4th at the Murano, 5:30 is our empowerment dinner, okay. and we're going to be celebrating young professionals, some of our legacy leaders, and also launching the Tawana Nobles Young Professionals Scholarship, which will go to students who plan to attend TCC and Clover Park, and we just might have a commitment from Pierce. Um, and none of these things are, are possible without an incredible staff, yes. our, our auxiliaries, our volunteers, our members, my incredible board of directors, some of our summer partners we mentioned, Tacoma Public Schools, also Citizens for Healthy Bay, um, Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity um, Incorporated, our National Urban League, who yes. I, gosh, I'm so grateful for them, Tacoma Pierce County Health Department and City of Tacoma, so many folks who help us to do this incredible work, but I'm grateful for just the members of our community who make our mission, um, achieving our mission possible. Well, I am so grateful for the two of you and Thank all the you. people that we could not get on this couch uh, because nobody does it alone. Thank you so much. This is a ministry. It us. never stops. You guys never stop thinking about this. You go to bed with it. You wake up with it. Yeah. And um, thank you for the strong hearts and the strong shoulders that you have on behalf of the Tacoma Urban League. Our pleasure. Want you back on so we can talk about the gala. Okay? Thank you. Deal. All right. Thank you. When we come back, we will have the League of Women Voters of Tacoma Pierce County here. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.